Good dust collection is so important. And part of it is good dust collection, but you also need to be able to get it where you're working. Agree. And I'm kind of a fanatic about dust collection. I think you're very fanatical in a great way. I don't mean that as a bad thing. Didn't sound like a great way, but <laughs> this really solves a problem. I can't tell you how irritating it is to have that thing caught constantly on the bench. This and is limiting your travel. Exactly. And not being able to get that dust collection where you want to, this allows you to be portable and you have the agility to put that dust collection right where you need it conveniently. Boom, there's the answer. See what I did there? When's the last time you had a mullet? Boy, I was gonna say, there's probably not gonna be a lot of mullet jokes between you and I. <laughs> Been a long time. Here today, gone tomorrow. Um, so, a while ago, you saw us work with the mullet cyclone. This is an add-on to a shot vacuum. And as I said, you've seen this before. I love this and I, I love her this. <laughs> like, um, the boom arm is such a great addition to my sanding station oh. here. Now, to be clear, um, and you're gonna see it in a second, the boom can go with the cyclone, the cyclone can go with your vac. So this doesn't have to be on an independent standing, sanding station like this. But reaching where you're working is a big deal. It's a great deal. And you're a, um, you're a dust collection aware I fanatic. Am. I've I done a, yeah, I've done a lot of homework on it, and I've done a lot of work in my shop to have a, a setup where I, my shop is attached to my home. A couple of us in there have dust allergies, so it's really important to me to keep a, a, a good, clean air environment. Uh, this is a neat innovation, though, because it lets you get dust collection to areas that you might just say, oh, I'm just not going to bother I'm with only it. sanding one piece. Exactly which always turns into one more and one more. And this lets you get that dust collection into those awkward reach places where it would be hard to get to. And if you did, the, the hose is always getting tangled up on something. And so this is a really nice solution. And I, you know, with the random orbit, like we're connected to here, um, that's one thing. I'm a big belt sander user. I love my belt sander. But when you're running that in the corrugated hose, you know, I, I've got this smooth yeah. flow going, and then that corrugated hose hangs up for a second. Um, suddenly, my smooth flow, it means I just divoted a tabletop because it stalled me out. Yep. So have it coming in from overhead like this is a big saving on that, preventing that from happening. Um, and just general keeping it out of the way. And it's so important with dust collection and allergies to remember that not being allergic today doesn't mean you won't be one year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, because it's a cumulative effect. So you really want to protect your lungs from the get-go so that you can still enjoy woodworking in the, anytime in the future. Um, so I'm trying to think of a boom joke that'll take us to the video, but maybe I just say, let's watch the video. You've already seen me work with the mullet cyclone and what a great job that does. Now I have added to it the boom arm. And this is amazing because it gives you the ability to articulate the arm and take it wherever you need dust collection. So here's how this goes. In this case, I've got it attached to the cyclone. You don't have to do it that way. There are a variety of different mounting styles. There's a T-nut on here and that's currently holding that elbow in that position. So the way the articulation happens is when I loosen this, I can make a move and I can make a move. And I can make a move. So you can see how easy it would be to get pickup here anywhere, depending on what kind of job you're doing that you want to get dust collection on. So let me do a little setup here and I'm going to show you just how well this works. In order to show you the effectiveness of the boom arm, I have got a maple spoon in my vise. I'm going to use my grinder in order to carve that bowl out. So first thing I'm going to do is I am not going to use the boom as though you've never seen airborne dust before, but let's just look at a little compare and contrast.
all of that stuff flying around. Now, with the articulating arm, I can bring this in, give ourselves a little vacuum. And now, as a result of having the boom arm, that dust is going here instead of here. You gotta love that. Here's another thing I really like about this setup. What I've done is move the boom arm to my bench with this mount, I can tee this out to my shot vacuum, and then I've still got all the advantages of the articulating arm. So whether I'm connected to a hose that brings it to my sander, like I've done in this case, or I can take the hose end off here, and I could put that collection point back on if I'm carving at this bench or whatever you're doing that you want dust collection on. The other thing that's cool about this system is with its mobility, you could use this when you're turning on a lathe. There's a spot where you produce lots and lots and lots of dust and shavings. You could even use it under drywalling applications, another incredibly dusty application for tools. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with the boom arm to make sure that you're picking up dust right at the source. What you think? I'm super impressed. It really is a, is a neat setup and it, it really just delivers the right airflow in the right place. You're articulating that so well. <laughs> Does that mean we're done here? Moving right along. <laughs>